is Billy D. Scott's Lecture on Music by Billy D. Scott. This text is influenced by the concepts of John Cage and Dr. Mark Plague. What is music? Is it the eerily beautiful strings of an orchestra? Is it the roar of the shout chorus in a big band? Is it the sound of traffic in a city or a bird song in a forest? Dale Turner states, I'm tired of everything except the music. My life is music, my love is music, and it's 24 hours a day. Dale Turner, around midnight. Perhaps music merely serves as a mechanism to drown out our fear and anxieties. For Turner, every musician has a musical tree inside of him or her. You just don't go out and pick a style off a tree one day, says Turner. The tree is inside of you, growing naturally. If we all have a musical tree inside of us, why don't we allow it to grow naturally? Why do we suppress our emotions, even if they're rooted in fear and anxiety? It's natural. Surely, the music can benefit from those pure emotions, though we hate to admit them or acknowledge their existence. Miles Davis on music. For me, music and life are all about style. Miles and improvisation. Don't play what's there. Play what's not there. WC on music. Music is the expression of the movement of the waters, the play of curves described by changing breezes. Debbie see on music in silence. Music is the silence between the notes. Debbie see on theory and rules. Some people wish above all to conform to the rules. I wish only to render what I can hear. There is no theory. You have only to listen. Pleasure is the law. We have Miles Davis and Debussy transcending the theory and rules of music, two pioneers in two distinct forms of music. Yet the philosophies correlate. Not in one of these quotes is there a lecture on theory. That being said, theory is necessary. Without theory, we have not the vehicle to reach the peak of musical expression. What is the peak of musical expression? Is there such a thing as any composer or musician attained it? Music is a manifestation of emotion and feelings, whether sorrow, despair, joy, confusion, and so forth. However, the constant behind all of these emotions is hope. Andy's letter to Red in Shawshank Redemption. Remember, Red, hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. After Red reads his letter, he breaks his parole and is at last seen by the Pacific embracing his friend. I find I'm so excited I can barely sit still or hold a thought in my head. I think it's the excitement only a free man can feel, a free man at the start of a long journey whose conclusion is uncertain. I hope I can make it across the border. I hope to see my friend shake his hand. 
I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. I hope. Red, Shawshank Redemption. I believe good music is replete with hope. When I listen to Monk's Ruby, my dear, hope is in the mist. When I listen to, Co to John Coltrane's A Love Supreme, hope is in the mist. Jazz music to me is about hope. African Americans in the early 1900s and even earlier spoke through the blues. There is a deep yearning, a hope to be free from the nightmares of racism and hatred. This spirit of the blues is the foundation of jazz music. We are searching for an identity through music. Often we are wondering what our purpose is. Others know what their purpose is, but fail to live up to it. When we find our purpose, then the music springs to life. In the words of Prince Henry, from Shakespeare's Henry IV, So when this loose behavior I throw off, and pay the debt I never promised, by how much better than my word I am, by so much better than my word I am, by so much shall I falsify men's hopes, and like bright metal on the soul and ground, my reformation, glittering over my fall, shall show more goodly, and attract more eyes, than that which hath no foil to set it off. I'll so offend to make offense a skill, redeeming time, when men think, least I will. Indeed, we as musicians should always be willing to redeem time and to live up to our purpose through the music in which we play. Which brings us to integrity. If we approach the music with integrity, we find our purpose, though the search can be long and cumbersome. Integrity fosters longevity. In the words of the great McCoy Tyner, the reason for longevity is truth and honesty, and I think we possess that, and it manifests itself in our art form. Ultimately, good music is predicated upon hope and integrity. Without hope, music cannot spring to life. Without integrity, music loses its longevity. Finally, the struggle for any musician is to keep hope in the midst of their struggles and frustrations. Thank you.